pro-Armenia group is staging a rally near the White House tonight, urging support for the country in its fight with Azerbaijan over disputed territory. The U.S., France, and Russia are stepping up efforts to get a ceasefire there. Tonight, we have an exclusive interview with Armenia's president, who is pointing the finger at another regional player. Senior Foreign Affairs Correspondent Amy Kellogg reports from Milan, Italy. It is a long, simmering, and complex conflict in a remote corner of the former Soviet Union, but suddenly the world has stood up to listen like never before. It may no longer just be Armenians and Azerbaijanis fighting over Nagorno-Karabakh, a territory the size of Delaware. Armenia's president tells Fox News Turkey is jumping in and upping the stakes. It has become a big regional conflict because Turkey has brought with them also uh, Mojahedins, I mean terrorists, Islamic terrorists, into Azerbaijan. Even Syria has claimed some of its citizens have headed into the fray. The senior foreign policy advisor to Azerbaijan's president denies the allegations. Azerbaijan doesn't need any foreigners or mercenaries. We have quite capable armed forces. But Russia and Iran have voiced concerns about this war zone becoming a magnet for terrorists and are carefully weighing options. They're all neighbors, and Azerbaijan insists Turkey is a good neighbor. Turkish support to Azerbaijan is a moral, diplomatic, and political support. Nagorno-Karabakh sits within the national boundaries of Azerbaijan, but is populated by Armenians and run practically as its own country. Hundreds have been killed in the latest round of fighting, with each side accusing the other of carrying out ethnic cleansing. It is ancient land with great cultural significance on the edge of an energy-rich region, which is another reason the president of Armenia is convinced Turkey's president wants inroads. They will also have huge influence on international energy resources. So somehow Europe will become a hostage of Turkey, closing or opening the pipelines. The Turkish president voiced full-throated support of Azerbaijan today, accusing the Armenians of having a, quote, spoiled and uncompromising attitude. This as the U.S., France, and Russia held urgent talks in Geneva to try to de-escalate a situation that shows no signs of settling down. Brett. Well, and we'll continue to watch. Amy, thank you.